I don't care what the weatherman says, but the weatherman says it's rain. You'll never hear me complain. I'm certain the sun will shine. I don't care how the weatherman points, but the weatherman points too gloomy. You gotta be sunny to me when your eyes look into mine. Creepers, creepers, where'd you get those creepers? Creepers, creepers, where'd you get those eyes? Cause y'all get up, how'd they get so lit up? Cause y'all get up, how'd they get that size? Dolly, dear, when you turn those heaters on, fall in. I have to put my cheaters on. Jeepers, creepers, where'd you get those creepers? Oh, those weepers. How they hypnotize. Yeah. Where'd you get those eyes? So if you already couldn't tell by the intro or whatever of this video, um, yeah, we're going to be, I'm going to be reviewing the movie, uh, Jeepers Creepers from 2001. So... Yeah, this movie stars Justin Long and uh, some other people, which I forgot the names of at least, but uh, it's directed by Victor Salva. And listen, I know I don't want to be this type of person that's just like, you know, but I'm going to make this quick. I know the controversy between Victor Salva and anything, but this is still a movie that I think is good and stuff. So let, let's just get into it. Um, we're not here to talk about the director. So... Yeah, uh, starting off with the positives with Jeepers Creepers is that um, I think that the Creepers look in this movie is uh, looks pretty good. Um, I mean, uh, it it looks a bit creepy and it's a bit weird, but I I I really like I quite like the the, the design or whatever how the creepy looks in this movie, so I think it's pretty cool. I don't really know what else to say. I mean, the actors here in this movie, we've got Justin Long and then some other actor, which are the two main characters. They're supposed to be a uh, sibling, well, sister and brother in this movie. And they do that perfectly. I mean, that that's a hard, like, kind of role. role that, that's something quite hard to pull off in movies. But in this movie, they do it in a really well way. So Justin Long and some other actors being brothers and sisters brother and sister they do that in a really well way so that made me feel a bit more you know made me a bit more like in depth in the characters whatever made me uh care about the characters more and um yeah root for them and stuff you know uh second of all i think i mean third of all i think this movie is pretty creepy actually uh, I mean, we've got the Jeepers Creepers song, which I played in the beginning of this video. And that song is really catchy, in my opinion. Now it's kind of like stuck in my head forever now. But, uh, and when they, they use that song in this movie really well, I don't want to spoil too much, but but basically, they play that song when there's like um something bad is happening or whatever. And basically it just it's a very catchy song and i think that this movie has some pretty the movie was more dark than i thought you know this movie could even be like more creepier than like wrong turn or whatever which is basically a very insane kind of texas chainsaw ripoff but um still a bit different so uh, it, it feels like this movie is a bit similar to like Wrong Turn and Texas Chainsaw and maybe I think there was one more which one was it Hills Have Eyes no I don't know but it feels like when it comes to this uh, when it comes to these like cannibal horror movies and stuff this feels like um uh this feels uh, like it's somewhere over there so yeah, that's what I've got to tell, but, um, and I think that, uh, this movie had some pretty creepy moments, um, pretty scary moments sometimes, which I do appreciate, uh, and, uh, the story of this movie is pretty good too, but I don't really not say, I just really, really liked, like, the tone of this movie or whatever, 
it's dark it for some reason the movie feels like silly sometimes and sometimes it just feels really dark and cruel and you know so uh and a lot of positive that i have with this movie is that the ending of this movie might just be one of my favorite horror endings um yeah i don't know what to say i mean it i mean listen 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 this may sound like stupid or something or i don't know but it's not that hard to pull off like a good ending in a horror movie you just kind of gotta keep the audience or pers- the person watching the movie in like the edge of the seat and feel a bit like having some um afterthoughts or whatever it's called i don't know you know the, the person wh- who just watched the movie is thinking even when the movie's over they're thinking about that last scene or whatever and the last scene in this movie, the last shots and stuff, I mean, pretty damn creepy and a bit scary because it's just really, really well. And I, I don't I, I don't want to spoil it, but it's just pretty surprising and it's a really good ending, twist ending, whatever you want to say. So I don't know what to say. Uh, this just works. You know what? This counts as a slasher movie, right? This is a slasher movie, I think, at least. Yeah, it should be that, you know? This creeper going around killing people. Yeah, we have seen a lot of other movies where people go around killing people. Friday the 13th, Halloween, Charles Play, no, but... You know, uh, I think this is also just a slasher movie, and it's a pretty... And it's pretty well-made slasher movie, for the most part. So, I do not say... Uh, maybe I have a bit more positives to say about this movie, but I can't think of that many right now. So, negatives with this movie is that I think that the movie had some predictable, very predictable jump scares sometime, and I mean that's a pretty, and that's a very, it's a very classic horror cliche. But even even though the movie, because the movie is, I think, pretty damn aware that uh, they're doing it, that when they do it, it's a bit annoying, but. You know, I, I guess it somewhat builds up a bit of tension or something, but it doesn't really work for me, so, yeah. Second of all, I mean, uh, we haven't got the smartest character de- decisions in this movie. Uh, yeah, that's basically all I have to say. <laughs> Third of all, I may, this may be an, an, uh, a unpopular opinion, but... <coughs> I thought the person who played it just I thought the person who Justin Long played in this movie wasn't the most I liked the the main the the girl main character whatever in this movie I think a bit more than Justin Long's character. It was just something about him which sometimes it felt like he made very stupid decisions and um you know when movies have like over exaggerating acting and stuff I don't know, sometimes I felt that a bit in this movie, you know, like there's literally a scene in the movie, well, I don't think this is a spoiler, but there's there's literally a scene in the movie where a girl is trying to uh, help him, and uh, then he says, uh, fuck you, and uh, hangs up the phone, and uh, I mean, I, I knew how the character was feeling in that scene, and I was kind of annoyed at the person, but it's not the best way to handle the situation because you know it kind of like triggers my ocd a bit it feels like uh because uh you know you want the character to be nice to you that's not the the great the greatest way to but um yeah maybe that's just a me thing i don't care it's just small little negative that i have about this movie and you know this is a very weird movie first half of the movie first was just like oh this movie's like a four and a half out of five stars it's a great slasher movie and then i was just like oh still pretty good four out of five stars and then until the end of the movie i finally gave the movie a three and a half out of five stars i thought it was a good movie i mean but i didn't think it was very good or really good or amazing or anything but i did think that it that i i do think that this is a good movie So, I don't think it's like a perfect slasher movie, I still think it has some small negatives, not big negatives, but just some small ones scattered throughout the movie, and uh, some horror cliches and stuff, but, so it's, it's not like, 
it, it it's a bit of a it's not like the perfect smashing movie and stuff i don't think it's the most entertaining one uh this may be unpopular to say but i don't care i hate saying that word controversial and unpopular i've said that so much in this channel it's enough now uh but there the, there are slasher movies that i enjoy even a bit more than this one i mean even though this is a movie that i appreciate quite a lot for what it's trying to do and stuff i mean it's a pretty creative slasher movie nothing like not like x creative but you know um yeah i don't really know what to say um if you want my ratings of this movie or whatever you can uh and more information about this movie or something like that you can check the description of this video and i think that's about it uh i thought this was a good movie what did you think about jeepers creepers the original one the jeepers creepers 2001 whatever you want to say what did you think of the movie did you think it was like bad good terrible horrendous i don't know i thought this was a good movie though and you can read more what i think about the movie in the description and stuff so yeah thank you for watching